take a part in our children's education, ensure that there is no abuse of any kind because that is the worst kind of um, I'm not sure of removing a person's spirit. How do how do I how do I put that away? How do I how do I make my mind except that I am that those things happened when I was a child. And I didn't have my grandmother or my mother to protect me. Because you should always have someone that you can go to when things happen. So to me, the education system and the priests and the nuns failed us as Indian children put into their care very badly. They were the problem. I wasn't. We weren't the problem as children. Not when we were removed forcibly. And I think when you're going to teach about the residential school, you have to do it in a sensitive way. You have to do it in a, in a way that is acceptable because there are people that still won't talk about their experiences. There have been suicides. There have been alcoholism. There have been child neglect. There have been poor parenting. Because we did not have our grandmothers, our mothers, to teach us how to be those people. Because they were our teachers. And if we were removed from them for, say, 12 years in some cases, and uh, when you graduate and you go home, you're an outcast because your family looks at you differently because you've learned something. And you look at your family in a different way. Your perspective on life back on the reserve is different. It changed. And that's what the government wanted. They wanted, you, they wanted to shame you into giving up who you were, what you stood for. And uh, so um, the teachers, the principals, you need to look beyond the exterior of a child you have to realize that there's some things happening in their family. They may not have had a grandmother's touch. They may not have had a grandmother's guidance. And uh, all children should be encouraged to learn. But by learning, we shouldn't have to give up our rights as Native people. I try and be a role model to my children and grandchildren. I'm a great grandma. I celebrated my 80th birthday and my family got together and uh, they put on a birthday party for me, and um, our little hall was full of my children, great-grandchildren. I didn't realize 
there were so many of us. And uh, those are the things that should be happening. We should be, we should have happy families. We should have healthy families. We were a proud race, or we are a proud race. We're beginning to stand up again. We are learning our language. We're doing our, our ceremonies again. You know, that was a part of us. That was, that was uh, a fabric of our life. I'm trying to have you see me as a residential school survivor, and I want you to get a good idea. Life is not easy in our communities. We do without when we do the best that we can with what we've got, and we try and teach our children in the best way that we know how. I thank you for listening to me. Why?